All right, today we're going to do a Keltec sub 2000 9 millimeter. All right, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of the the rail that's on it. This piece right here, because I want to put an optic on it. All right, so we're going to be taking the rail off and putting a red lion self-indexing rail. What it'll do is it'll allow us to, once we have everything on, be able to take this jam nut, loosen it, rotate the quad rail back to the top where you'll have an optic, cinch it back down, they guarantee it stays zeroed. All right, whenever you want to fold it back, you just loosen the nut back up, index it over to the side or upside down, whatever you want, and then um, fold it, and it'll still lock. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. All right. Our uh, chamber is clear, no magazine, and let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is take off the forearm. Now I'm going by here, I'll move the front sight. Alright, kind of did some stuff off camera. I just had to get the barrel nut or the uh, thread protector. Get it loose. I had to go out to my vise. one of each of the rails. I didn't know exactly what I'd need, but I just figured out it was probably part of a package, so I just bought one of each. All right? Uh, they say it doesn't matter which ones you put where. All right? So with this, all right, to give you all the nut plates, Trying to see if there is a recess in here that they sat in, but it doesn't look like it, so put this thing off in my finger. Okay, the nut plate is countersunk to it. Alright, so 
Uh, I opted to buy their little five dollar tool. Um, I like having the right tool for the right job, so um, I'm gonna get these started. Right. Um, I will be putting some Loctite on these. I do not plan on taking this back off. All right. I'm gonna put all three rails on. Uh, I I kind of figure I'm gonna do a light, my optic, and then possibly a four in of some type. So this will be plenty for the light. It is a nine rail. I guess it's an eleven rail. Well, twelve rail, and then the one for the top. Um, but this was it. Right. I'll go back and torque this, but for now I'm putting some good German torque on it. Some gluten tight. Thinking I want my light to be on my left side. Where if I'm holding, I can use my thumb to, to hit it. Alright, so. A lot of stuff I do may be kind of quirky or whatever, but it just works for me. Just whatever works for you, you can do it your own way. Alright, so my idea is drip. Drip here. Drip. Flashlight, possibly. And then the top rail for red dot. Alright, so we place the coupler on. Just kind of reading through. All right, it looks like right now, um, tighten these two first. Um, I'm gonna get my torque wrench and tighten these two down. Um, these two that are side by side. All right, not the one at the base. Okay, tighten these two first, and then tighten this one, and torque them. I've gotta go get my torque wrench, and then all I'm gonna do from there is put all these little set screws in that are all over this thing. Uh, I'll get that done and then uh, hopefully we'll be putting the front sight back on and the barrel nut or the uh, thread protector and we should be good to go. Alright, all right, so we have torqued everything. Alright, the only thing I've got left is the barrel nut or the lock nut thread protector. I don't know why I keep saying lock nut. Alright, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. Alright, the forearm is tight. Okay. Loosen the nut up. Okay. Index it back to where it, like the smooth side. So that way when you fold it, when I put the front side on, it'll engage. Okay. Then whenever you Pull it down. Pull it back over. And it is rock solid. Alright. Uh, one thing I will say is the machine work on this piece is absolutely superb. It's tight. All of the screw holes are perfectly aligned with all the pieces. Um, the only thing that was a little pain in the butt was putting the rail on. If that's the worst I've got to deal with, then I'm all for it, man. Um, 
I think if they would come out with a different color, you know, that way if you have the tan when you've got the tan uh, form, or if you, like I've got the, uh, the Marine Digital, it, you know, just that way you could have somewhat of the, the same color. But, I mean, there's Hydro Dip and I'll take care of that, or, you know, Duracode or Duracode or whatever. But, yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased with the, how tight and how rigid this piece is. And to allow me to let it fold with an optic on it, I think is, is just phenomenal. All right, so uh, I'm going to take just a little bit of thread locker. I don't want to put it on this. Mm -hmm. And back with it. And I can kind of see where the set screw was. I don't really plan on using the the sight. So getting it just what I'll probably do is level a rifle and then put that back on there. Alright, so Put the thread protector back on. And now let me go get the optic. Alright guys, I went and got my primary arms. Red dot. Um, they had a sale on this. It was 179. 50,000 hour life on the battery. All right, um, I've got one on my AK. Uh, I've had it on since January. I've had no issues with it. It's a very fine dot. Um, one thing I don't like, I thought that this uh, lower one-third mount would make it to where the front and the rear sight would be able to lower one-third co witness from it. It's just a little bit too tall. Uh, so I'll just get an absolute. And that should bring it down to where I really want it. But even with that, I can still see the top of the sight through the bottom, through this ring here. So uh, I'll probably just go with that. But the reason I bought this rail is it got a red dot on it. I, I cannot take it and fold it because it will hit. Roger. Right. Take the nut, put it over. But now, it's on there. All right, so whenever I deploy it, snap it down. Loosen the nut, turn it, lock it in. Would it be something you could see under MVGs probably, but <laughs> if I'm getting into a, a firefight with people that have MVGs, um, my group is probably not going to last because uh, that means the government's coming in. Alright, so. It's not gonna, not gonna worry with it. But this is a sub 2000, very compact, foldable carbine with a red line precision indexing rail. You can go to their website, check them out. I'll put a link in the description. It's hot as balls out here. But I wanted to make some type of video and show you guys what I have done. I'll do some still pictures. Kind of show you guys uh, exactly what is what. And, uh, I'm gonna, all right, dude. Deuces.